Hi everyone, back in the December of 2012, I introduced to everyone a new sandblast and foot switch product that I was uh, designing and testing for the pressure pot sandblasters. And this would basically save people a lot of money on both startup and ongoing costs. It'd be easy to make yourself if you wanted to. And it would give people a more comfortable and easy solution to use when sandblasting. And it would also provide a variable flow of abrasive control from your foot. Uh, when I told everyone about this over at my blog, I asked for their feedback and what they thought of the idea, and I was shocked at all the positive responses for everyone. I just want to thank you so much for that. Uh, what this does is basically combines the variable flow of some of the expensive hand nozzles that are available with the ease of a, a foot operated switch. Many people have been telling me that these variable hand nozzles were very hard on their hands and that they just would get tired way too fast holding all that pressure. Well this foot switch uh, basically solves that problem. So in this video I basically just wanted to show you a little bit about how it works. Um, but first I just want to show you a little bit about the components that will come with this kit. So basically you first have your foot switch here, your foot switch device which controls uh, the open and closing and the variable pressure of the sand coming out of the nozzle. And then you have an adapter kit which converts converts it to a smaller tube than your standard uh, one that comes with your sandblaster. I believe it's about a half inch. And what I want to say first of all is most people that sandblast in their cabinets or uh, any little components they usually don't need that large of a tube. What some people don't know is those other tubes are so chunky and uh, it's, just, it's just kind of a hassle to deal with. Um, so we got the tube and this isn't any kind of cheap tube in it either. This is a very resilient, um, flexible tube that it stands up to abrasive. And this is one I've been testing. All, I've been testing all kinds of tubes out there on the marketplace and this is the best one I've found. This isn't like that cheap stuff you find in the hardware store. It's a lot more uh, expensive and uh, it works great for sandblasting. And then you basically have your uh, nozzle configuration and that holds your tip to sandblast and you just aim with that. Now let me show you a little bit how it works. Basically what it, all you do is this foot switch basically just controls the pinching pressure of this tube. And this tube, I designed it so it would work very nice and you could take off the tube from the pinch when not in use so that prevents it from wearing out. And then you also have this hole in here where you can slide the tube in. So you basically slide this through then you hook this end up to your sandblaster. Now I'm going to hook that up real quick and let me show you that. I also give you these type of clips that you can that you can use and to hook up your sandblaster. I like these a lot better than the standard uh, adjustables because those always break, fall off, and you get abrasive everywhere. So I really like this type. So that's why I'm concluding those. So let me get my sandblaster here. So here we have. The bottom side of my sandblaster and my adapter kit will hook up to this perfectly um, but for my sandblaster I already have um, I have a new um, sandblaster valve down here uh, which works out a little bit nicer and I also have a kit set up where you could buy these if you wanted to okay now that I have that all hooked up I'm going to demonstrate a little bit how you use this thing and you want to make sure your your air is going into your sandblaster then make sure this is pinched all you do is you pull it over this little tab here and put it under there so it holds it and then I'll pinch it closed and what I'm going to do starting out is just use the air without the sand so you can see we got air coming in here and then once you step on this 
You have air. It's a little bit of sand in there still. So you can see, if you press a little bit, you get a light blast. If you press a full throttle, you get a whole bunch. Then you let go and it stops. So now I'm gonna cook up, now I'm gonna hook up the abrasive here and then I'll show you it blasting some components. Here's one of my glass stands I made. And here's a piece of glass. I'll just demonstrate how you can etch stuff with the variable control. And there you have it. Then I'm going to show you it on a rusted piece of metal. Because I use this to slint sandblast uh, metal objects and glass for my hobby. Full throttle. See how it gets it really nice? And you might want to turn up the abrasive to air ratio a little bit higher to get it better. Well, that's that. Um, this hose can, uh, it's rated at going up to 67 PSI at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, but I've actually tested it to go up to 80 PSI, uh, but that is probably not a good way to go. Uh, I, might, I might develop some thicker tubes which will go up a lot higher than that so um, if people are more interested in that I may develop something for that. And if you have any other questions leave a comment below uh, and I also advise you what I'm going to do is I'm going to develop plans and uh, where you can make these yourself or if you wanted to you can just buy them directly from me. And I'm not sure how long I'm going to sell them online. Um, if people are very interested, I might keep selling them. If not, I'm just going to have my plans available so you can make your own very inexpensively. Uh, very nice to, it, it works just perfect. I love this. I use it every time I sandblast and uh, I've liked it so far. So what I advise you to do is uh, go below this video. There should be a link in the description where you can either uh, get my plans um, or you can buy the unit that I'll be selling. So thanks for watching. Let me have let me know of any comments either below here or in my on my website. So uh, I hope to hear from you. Thanks.